In this video, I'm going to be talking about running a first program on Ikara's Verilog. So this is one of the open source platforms or tools that we can use to start our EDA development or Verilog coding. So particularly now this Ikara's platform is very important as many of the students went home in the COVID-19 pandemic and they don't have an access to a desktop PC or their laptops might be slow. So for this Ikaras Verilog, it is free and open source. And most importantly, there are some online tools or web tools that has this Ikaras installed there. So students can just go there and log in and run their Verilog codes there directly without the Intel Quarta suit or any FPGA suits available. So for this course, we are going to be using the edaplayground.com webpage. Here I already created a EDA Playground account using my email credentials. And you can also register for a full account for free. And then if I log in here, it would give me access to a design Verilog and test bench Verilog and on the left we can select which language we are going to be using so this interchangeably uses system Verilog and Verilog and also for tools and simulators we can select a particular tool we are going to be using the Ikaras Verilog tool and for that we are also going to see the waveform of the simulated files I'm going to use open EP wave after the run here so I already wrote a small Verilog program here in my notepad. I'm going to copy it there soon. So firstly, I have two different uh, design codes. One is the design part. So this is a very simple uh, two input uh, multiplexer, which has a selector switch and input X1 and X2 and one output. So for this multiplexer, it would output if the value of S is equals to one, then it would output as the x1 signal or value of s is 0 then it would output the x2 signal so this is our very simple multiplexer code and we are going to copy it and paste it in our design part of the code so afterwards uh, we have i have already written a test code so for this uh, ikaras environment you need to have a test bench where you would take the module and then apply different types of signals as input and then uh, measure the outputs. So for this uh, test code, uh, the code is quite self-explanatory. It's uh, also written in Verilog. We have registered uh, S, X1 and X2, and we have a wire as the output. And for these always codes, these all run parallelly to each other. So for this one, always, and the found sign of five this represents that every five uh, units of time this code would be executed so every five units of time the code will toggle the x1 so whatever the value of x1 was it would invert it using this uh, command and then store it in x1 so if the initial value of x1 we have stored it at zero so for x1 equals to not x1 every five seconds it would change value so always at every 10 uh, units of time, we have set x2 as x2 naught, and always at every 50 units of time, the s would change its value to s naught. So then we have called our max uh, command. We had the module as max2. So we declared the max2 as m1, and then we give it inputs s x1, x2, and take the wire as output. So again, we need some initial begin fi file. So this part would be starting at the initial of the code and then it would not run anymore. So we declare our dump file and a dump variables wh which needs to be dumped. And here we can actually manually set. For example, we can set that at zero instance of time, we would force s equals to zero and then we can asynchronously declare I different inputs. I'm just going to declare here that at uh, 200 units of time, the finish uh, command would be generated and the simulation would stop. So 
then uh, at initial part we also declared a, mo a field monitor and we can actually write different codes here so I'm just uh, written here that at time t where time is a variable so it would output the value of out1 so this is the test bench I'm going to copy this and go back to the browser and paste it here so now we have our test bench and we have our designed file we can click run to run this code so if you remember the test bench code it would toggle the uh, s variable every 50 units of time so s is 0 1 0 and then the x1 is varied every 5 units of time x2 is varied every 10 units of time and then for the output for when s is equals to 0 it follows the x2 and if x equals to 1 then it follows the x1 part so then we can very easily simulate our Verilog codes using the EDF Playground tool. So there is an option of installing the Ikaras Verilog code into your computer as a standalone program, but uh, it's uh, mostly written for Linux and you have to go under the hood and then uh, play around with your specific machine to install it. I think this uh, solution would work for you best. So even if you have just a mobile phone or if you don't have a powerful enough laptop, you can easily go into this uh, website and then run your own Verilog codes. At every time instance, the output variable is also printed in the console. So at any point, if you want to write a script where you just want to get the text output, which is sometimes more beneficial and then uh, process it into any other programs then you can just go to this uh, text uh, dump file and then edit it manually also this concludes our video on the ikaras Verilog platform and the edf playground tool i'll try to give some uh, simple assignments on this uh, tool so that you can better learn how to use the software